Hello, classmates. Happy celebration of St. Michael and the Archangels Day. Or Happy Michael Mass Day. I want to apologize for breaking into you here. Um, I did not get my devotion done on Tuesday night when we had our last class because my computer was not helping me out. But I figured that I should send it today for a specific reason. Today is Michael Mass. September 29th is the celebration festival of Michael, the Archangel, and the other Archangels. So let's start with a prayer and uh, we'll run through this. Lord, thank you for bringing us here to continue to learn more about you as we look through the lenses of our Lutheran point of view. Help us to come to new understandings of your church on earth, specifically your Lutheran church, and let us realize that we are the ones that continue as your messengers of the gospel in this day and place. Amen. So I did my research, and I got into this way more than I figured I would. And you'll understand why as we go on. You know, do the Wikipedia, do a little bit of this and that. Well, this turned out to be a pretty exciting thing for me, and you'll see why. Michael the Archangel is captain of the heavenly hosts, is remembered on this day, along with other angels and archangels. The word angel means messenger, and angels are remembered in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. This stained glass window in a German church is titled, Michael, Hail Michael, you warrior of God. The earliest mention of Michael, the archangel, are in 2nd and 3rd century B.C. Jewish works. Sometimes they're apocalyptic works, but not all the time. He's the chief of the angels and archangels, and he's responsible for the care of Israel. Michael is only mentioned twice in the Bible, once in Jude, and the other time as a very central role in Revelation, killing the dragon. The Archangel Michael is pictured as a prince and a general in the heavenly army, defeating the dragon, the ancient serpent, the devil, Satan. It's important, though, to see that Revelation 12, 11 says that God's victory ultimately comes from Jesus' death, through Jesus' death, and by the testimony of his followers. Hey, that's us. This power of God's truth gives us confidence in the face of evil on earth, even in the face of death. So it's Michael and the archangels, but how did we get to commemorate a day for them? It's an interesting part of the story. In the fifth century, a basilica near Rome was dedicated in honor of St. Michael, the archangel, on September 30th, beginning with celebrations on the eve of that day, September 29th. The 29th of September is now kept in honor of St. Michael and the angels throughout some Western churches. The festival is called Michael Mass, coming from the shortening of Michael's Mass in the same way Christmas comes from Christ's Mass. Michael Mass is also known as the Feast of Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, the Feast of the Archangels, or the Feast of St. Michael and all angels. During the Middle Ages, Michael Mass was celebrated as a holy day of obligation. In the Catholic Church, holy days of obligation are days on which the faithful are expected to attend Mass and engage in a rest from work and recreation, not doing anything that you would do on a regular day. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy type of thing. A traditional meal for the day includes goose, known as stubble goose, one prepared around the har harvest time. The association of geese with Michael Mass comes from a 5th century legend in which the son of an Irish king choked on a goose bone he'd eaten and was consequently brought back to life by St. Patrick. So going back to the 5th century. The king ordered a sacrifice of goose every Michael Mass in honor of the saint. The Irish Michael Mass goose was slaughtered and eaten on the day, and they were presented as gifts or donated to the poor. 
Lutheran Christians considered it a festival day, and the Lutheran confessor Philip Melanchthon wrote a hymn for the day that's still sung in Lutheran churches. Lord God, we all to thee give praise, which shares its tune with the old, old hundredth psalm tune. In the city of London, Michaelmas is the day when the new Lord Mayor of London is elected in the Common Hall. In the United States, in Mifflin County, Pennsylvania, Michaelmas has been observed since 1786 as Goose Day. Local tradition holds that eating goose on September 29th brings prosperity. The good luck goose connection comes from Queen Elizabeth I, who is said to have been eating goose on Michaelmas in 1588 when she received news that her Royal Navy had defeated the Spanish Armada. The Juniata River Valley of Pennsylvania began celebrating this version of Michael Mass when a Pennsylvania Dutchman named Andrew Pontius moved his family to neighboring Snyder County to farm. He hired an Englishman named Archibald Hunter, and the contract that was drawn up for his employment contained a clause specifying their accounts were to be settled each year on the traditional day to do one, to do so, September 29th. When that day came, Hunter appeared at Pontius' door with his accounts and a goose, explaining that in England, eating a goose on the 29th of September brought good luck. The tradition spread to nearby Lewistown, Pennsylvania, where it's still honored today, with many local restaurants and civic groups offering goose dinners, fet local festivals, other countywide activities. In honor of this holiday, in fact, painted fiberglass goose statues can be found throughout the county all year long. But the big festival comes the week of Goose Day, uh, Michaelmas, and we were there for this time. Now here's where it gets personal for me, because I got the notification that this was to be my talk last Thursday, and I started doing my research. Well, as it turns out, my son and daughter-in-law and my two grandkids live in Lewistown, Pennsylvania, and uh, Mifflin County. And uh, we called up and said, to me, yeah, we're going to be there around five o'clock Friday afternoon. And my son Eric said, yeah, this is great because there's all kinds of stuff going on this weekend. I, I, I don't know why, but there's all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, and they had a 5K run. They had a bouncy castle set up in the in the youth park for the kids. Um, they had special goose, golden goose lattes at the coffee shops. They had all kinds of things going on. So we walked into that. It was very cool and very exciting. So I had to take some pictures and I had to celebrate Goose Day, <laughs> Michael Mass, in some fashion. So that's, this hits very close to home, and it was very exciting, and I really got into this way more than I should have. Absolutely. So celebrate Michael's Mass this year in any way that best suits you, but remember that there's a history behind it, and it does still exist as a real thing in some places. The appointed prayer for this day in Sundays and Seasons, one of our church resources is this, the prayer of the day. Everlasting God, you have wonderfully established the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that as Michael and the angels contend against the cosmic forces of evil, so by your direction, they may help and defend us here on earth as we continue to do your work through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thanks for your time. I know this went way too long but I got excited about it. Thank you. See you on Tuesday.